الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters, if you don't know what's happening in Kashmir, let me put it to you briefly. The last 70 years, the people in that region have been oppressed. There are 14 million people there that have been now encaged and imprisoned inside their own homes. The overwhelming majority of whom are Muslims that have been unjustly and illegally, they have been stripped of their basic rights. It is one of the most, if not the most militarized places in the entire world, in that small region, there are half a million Indian soldiers that are watching over the civilians. And these soldiers have raped tens upon thousands of Muslim women. They've killed innocent people. It's a regular occurrence. But Kashmir is one example of many other Muslim places that are struggling in the exact same way. The question comes to mind, what can we do to help them? You see, the Muslim Ummah is going to agree upon the fact that they need help, but where we will not see eye to eye, where we will differ, is the solution. And I want to present to you a Quranic solution. That if you believe in Allah Azza wa Jalla and you believe the Quran is from Him, this ayah is so clear that it will make the solution to you something that's not really something that... It can be up for debate or discussion anymore. I present you the ayah from Surah An Nur. Allah, He makes a promise of how He will help us and He gives us what we need to do in this ayah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said, وَعَدَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَعَمِلُوا صَالِحَاتِ لَيَسْتَخْلِفَنَّهُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ كَمَا اسْتَخْلَفَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes a promise to those who believe and do righteous actions and He makes three promises. Promise number one, Allah said, I will give you authority, I will give you khilafah on the earth. Promise number two, Allah said, I will make Islam your established religion. Number three, Allah said, I will exchange your state of fear to a state of security and safety. Authority on the earth, khilafah. Establishment of the religion, safety and security. Are these not the three things that we need in Kashmir, that we need in Yemen, that we need in Syria, that we need in Mali, that we need in Afghanistan, Iraq, Somalia? Are these not the three things that we need in our Muslim countries that are being oppressed? I think everyone will agree, this is what we're looking for. The question is, how do we get it? Allah tells you at the end of the ayah how to get it. Allah says, I'll make, this is a promise. I will, not, I will fulfill my promise. I will give you these three things. But there's something that we need to do in order to attain that promise. Allah said, Ya'budunani. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, worship me alone. La yushrikuna bi shay'a. And Allah said, do not do any shirk with me in any way, shape or form at all. Worship me alone. Worship me, no one else. And do not associate any partners in that worship with me. In other words, shirk. <coughs> so what is Allah telling you here? Allah is telling you, come with Tawheed. Come with La ilaha illallah. Come with Tawheed. Tawheed is to worship Allah alone. Now the problem is that, if I'm being honest, and if you're honest, we are a ummah that has fallen into shirk. If you look at the countries and the places in the Muslim world where the people are being oppressed, you'll notice that there are graves that are worshipped besides Allah. People bury donkeys and don't realise that they're donkeys and think that, you know, an angel came and buried a saint and start worshipping thinking that there's a righteous man buried there and worship that man, asking him for help. There are people in their times of difficulty, they start calling upon dead people, saying, they, sometimes they call upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself. They make dua to him, when dua is only to Allah Azza wa Jal. We are doing shirk as an ummah, and for that reason we're struggling, for that reason we're suffering, for that reason, even us in the UK, we are in a state of difficulty. We're not able to practice our religion freely and comfortably. We're being oppressed here. The more your tawheed decreases, the more your security and authority and your deen being established also gets taken away. The eye is clear. Allah is the one who's saying, I will give you authority. I will protect you. I will give you safety. But you need to start worshipping me. So now if you want to help the people of Kashmir, because we're one ummah, one body, if one part feels pain, the other feels pain, we're connected. What you do has an effect there, what they do has an effect here. 
If you start coming with Tawheed and worshipping Allah alone, this will have a ripple effect in our Ummah and it will benefit them, inshallah ta'ala. It will benefit you first and then it will go and it will benefit others. When you raise your hands, you make dua with Tawheed, Allah Azza wa will do something. Asking and petitioning Allah through dua is more effective than petitioning disbelievers and kuffar who at the end of the day are never going to even listen to you. How many petitions have we signed that have gone into parliament but no one ever considered our concerns? But Allah is saying, I'm ready to consider. You just need to worship me and not do any shirk. My brothers and sisters, if you care for the Muslim Ummah and you want to do something, it's more than just changing your display picture for Kashmir to red or changing your display picture to blue for Sudan. It's about learning Tawheed and spreading Tawheed and implementing Tawheed. This is the reason why you were created. It was the key to get you into Jannah. There is no other way. And shirk is something that the Prophet ﷺ feared for us so much. Even if you're not worshipping graves, doesn't mean that you're safe. The Prophet said, إِنِّي أَخَافُ عَلَيْكُمْ الشِّرْكُ الْأَصْغَرْ فَسُئِلَ عَنْهِ فَقَالْ الْرِيَا أو كما قال. The Prophet ﷺ was asked, he said that the thing that I fear for you the most is shirk, to worship someone else besides Allah. And it is the minor shirk that the Prophet said, I'm fearful for you. The Prophet was asked, what is the minor shirk? The Prophet said, it's showing off. A person who knows Allah and he worships Allah the way he deserves to be worshipped, he only wants to show Allah. But the one who shows off to the creation, he made the creation and Allah equal. He's showing, so when he's worshipping Allah, he's showing it to Allah and he's showing it to the creation, he done shirk in his worship. And don't think because it's minor shirk, it's something minor. Minor shirk is still something major that can take a person to the hellfire. And Allah said, if you want these three things, worship me alone, don't do any shirk. Not minor, not major. So it's something that you have to learn. Please, my brothers and sisters, I'm really appealing to you. I'm imploring you. I'm asking you. I'm urging you. I'm, I'm, I only beg Allah Azza wa Jal. I'm not begging you, but I'm really asking you, please, learn Tawheed. You know, if you care about the Ummah, don't pretend like you care and you don't do that which needs to be done. Now the question comes to mind, how will you learn to read? Where can you start? The way you can start is with the little blue book. If you've done the little yellow book, then you should definitely be coming here. If you haven't, then you should do the blue book, which is, which is taught in Masjid Nabawi in Medina. If you study this book, inshallah ta'ala, in here is a book called Kitab Tawheed, which is a whole book explaining La ilaha illallah, 67 chapters that we will be teaching to you guys inshallah ta'ala specifically Ustad Muhammad Tim Humble graduate from Medina University will be teaching over 8 days Monday to Thursday week 1 Monday to Thursday week 2 starting from this Monday the 19th of August I'm urging you brothers and sisters the spaces are limited the registration will be closing in a few hours because this weekend registration will close because we start on Monday go to the link below and study this book right now this is people travel to Medina to study this but it's coming here to you by someone who graduated from the University of Medina you'll also receive an ijazah with a connected chain on an official certificate of your connected chain going through the Imam of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's Masjid to the very author who wrote this book you'll get that if you pass the exam inshallah ta'ala and if you miss level one no problem inshallah ta'ala you can attend it next year or you can catch it online by going to the link below you can catch it online but those who have the ability to learn book two especially if you're in west london and you live in south or hounslow hayes those kind of regions i mean if you live in london anyway but like you need to be there and please this is the reason why you were created i'm asking please my brothers and sisters do not miss out on this opportunity to come and study your dean with that said i leave you there hopefully we see you on monday at the program register at the link below subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika shahadu la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu